that now? My name is Glenford Sobers. I was first the, um, the captain of Tropical Angel Harps. And I merged with um, Tropical Melody. Right? And, and after that, we come together and, and this is what we come. And now I open my own band, next band, you see? Yes, this one is the New Age Trendsetters. This is a single band. All the time I had the, the um, conversional, right? So now, this is, yeah, this is, this is a single pan band, New Age Trendsetters. So, tonight and tomorrow night to the single pan band category. All the best and um, thank you ladies and gentlemen. As the general trust secretary has said, we have a long journey tonight, so I call return safe to our respective homes. Good evening all. Heavenly Father, we ask your divine intervention tonight. We ask for safe travel as we do the region's work tonight. We wish all who are participating tonight best of luck and we hope that the outcome will be what you all will expect. In your most holy name, Amen. Amen. One of the first members of our Central to be in the first National Sea Orchestra to represent Trinidad and Tobago, Mr. Sobers. It's every taking a rest tonight. But this is a good one, Mr. Sobers, eh? Let's remember that. Okay? Judges, you ready? Yeah. One and more. Next to our son. Robin Corden. Bobin Cordis, Audi Timothy. Thank you.
Yeah, my name is Ben Ford Schobel. The, the guy who had managed and owned Angel Ham. And then I, I joined up with a tropical melody and become tropical angel hop. So now I, I, I spent some years with, with the band, but I come and I open a next band. Like this band that's playing right now, do it trendsetters. Right? And I hoping we get through to, to make this next round. Because in my opinion, you guys well played, right? So I'll wait till um, when we have when we reach in the next time, right? And I thank the guy for coming because every year he just come and talk with me. And I thank you. And you have a happy new year, right? Thank you. Hi, my name is Shakila Lewis Balaj. I'm the captain of Pan Angels, and we were founded in 2014. And uh, well, the band chose the song that we are playing, and we are playing um, "I'm a Trini by Benjai. And that's all. <laughs> this band is four years old, and we are located in Enterprise. Number four by the Street Enterprise. And we are a small band. Well, actually, it's a family band. It started off with me and my sisters and my friends, and then it had others coming in from different bands. This band woman is yours. Yeah. Okay.
Hi, good night. My name is Riza Batiste. I'm the manager of the band, as well as the secretary of the band. We are playing the tune by the, mighty, by the merchant, Rocket, arranger Andre Brolin. How we came up with this tune, we gave, in this band, we give the arranger the total rights, the total rights to feel the vibes, to see like a tune which he wants. Because only the arranger will be able to know what tune in his mind he could be able to arrange. Of the arranger of Andre Bolden was also the captain of the band because we believe that the arranger is the one who truly knows what he is looking for with the players. This band has been in existence for the past six years. We have been entering the competition. This is our fourth competition. We try to we try to let the players, the young ones, get a taste of the old Calypso so that they will be able to appreciate the whole culture, which is Calypso and, and Steel Band, merging one. We are located at number three, Lapwing Crescent, Edinburgh 500. Are all your players homebred or you got them from other existing bands? Three quarters of the players are from Edinburgh. We have some from Palmas, Todd Road, so they are around the central area. And what we try to do, we try to let the players appreciate the music, feel the passion for it, rather than this love for money, right? So it's all about the love for the pan, and it's all about for the development of the pan. And this year, I, I believe we have been successful because three quarters of the persons in the band are under the age of 21. So we see this band as something that will encourage youths to go in a positive, that on a different angle rather than crime, right? So we feel that we are doing something as a community-based organization. And by next year, we're looking to go as an NGO because we want to make this thing more than just playing in a competition. We want to allow people to learn how to love the pan, how to read the music, and also how to write the music. Well, the arranger believes that learning music by ear is the first step, right? You learn music by ear first, develop that inside because the youth have this ability to understand. You have the ability to understand song and music and rhythm. So what he's trying to do is make here learn that part first. And then with the music, with the steel band, is the most easiest instrument in order to learn. So you have keys on the pan. You have the pan being identified with A, B, C, D, E, F, G, F sharp. So on the pan, you're actually learning the notes. And then from there, we, we might have a little workshop this year with learning to read and write music. We want to start with the toddlers, maybe from three to seven years, and then break them out a little, a little, old, a little older. So you guarantee the, the future of the band? Yes, transparency of the band, as well as I would not be secretary all the time. I want to move away eventually, and maybe a youth could come in and replace me, and maybe a youth could come in too and replace and be a manager or be a captain of a band. Maybe you could have a youth as well learning how to tune the pan, how to invent a pan, right? So we want to have all this in place for the band. So how do you picture Edinburgh 500 in the next in the next five to ten years, I would not be the secretary or the manager of the band. A youth will be that. Eventually, you will be an NGO. Eventually, you may have potential arrangers. You may have a potential um, inventors, tuners. Because there's, there's a guy from Central, Jimmy Phillips, which is a good friend of the manager of the band, as well as the founding member, Mr. Dennis Singh. So we, we are willing to at least let the players go, go across there and actually learn how much work it takes to actually build the pan. Build the pan. Who's your tuner? Who tune your pans? Um, hmm. Name slip my, my head right now. We have a blender? We have a blender. Mm -hmm. And you also tune. It's on the banner outside. I'll have to, um, I'll have to get that.
Yeah, Kenny Pascal is the name. Captain Arranger of the Rio Claro Cascaros. The tune this year is not do that. I did the selection. Uh, um, I did, um, I'm the arranger, I did the selection this year. Uh, right, the, the band was formed. I can't remember the year right, the year right now, it's about 1973 or something like that. We sat it on the little mango tree up the road, then a breadfruit tree. And then finally we end up in a little something here. The place wasn't like this. Um, the, the thing about the band, why I get involved in the band, is them youths you see in there. I say, I, I want to do something for, for the youths. And I put a Google at, if I could save five of them. When I say save, you know they use these the drugs, this, this, but if I could get five of them to go over a higher level of education and all that, you know, I feel I have done well and I did that. Um, we have people pass through here, go to Oxford University, work in the United Nations and things, and we're going good. We have some little boys here because of uh, the discipline in the band. One pass for Benedict's one, you know, things like that. So I feel that was my goal anyway. Yeah. Well, I certainly won't be the leader in the, for the next 10 years. But I, I hope that when um, I'm leaving it in good hands, and I look, right now I'm looking for a leader among the youths and them there. Um, the thing about steel band, everybody they see the new band, they see this, but they know where you went through or where you're going through. You know, but I hope in the next 10 years, this could be one of them um, conventional bands. But not under my watch. I ain't going through that at this age. What percent of the players are musically literary? Uh, well, generally speaking, if you notice, there's a lot of youths, and most of them doing a little um, music course and thing. And so about this little boy here, yeah, about 10% of the band musically inclined. The balance, yes. They will get there. You have to encourage them. Yeah. Thank you very much. That's it? Yep. Thank you.